you guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new here my name is Noemi and today's video was a requested video again how I simplified my laundry I'm starting the laundry with separating and I would say I have three main piles that I'm categorized my clothes and that would be the white one and I have the medium which is the beige or gray and the third one is the dark which is mainly my husband clothes and my kids pants and some shirts but those are the one that I like to wash on the warm cycle I never use the cord because just generally I feel like it doesn't do the job as well as the warm water but I like to protect my clothes, the dark one with colors, don't fade away that fast. So that's why I choose to use um, the warm cycle on them. Now with this pile, I'm trying to have our blankets that we're putting out and towels and all the things that is just bigger item. And I can just gather them and make a whole entire load and it helps me it's all in the same color. So I can just wash them together. And the third one is the white one and the white one I always like to wash them on the hot cycle so I like to pick um, the sheets in a white color because I know they need a heavy duty cleaning and also my kitchen towels are white so that way I can wash them really well in the hot water. I also like to use OxyClean and any kind of product I use I'm going to link it down below for you guys if you guys are interested in the same product to try but all are biodegradable and eco-friendly. We have a septic tank, so we have to keep it happy. And these are all the products that um, works well with the septic tank. For white ones, I like to use the OxyClean. And if I wanna get my whites really, really white, then I'm just, um, you would supposed to soak them. And I thought this is a process that I'm never going to do. I don't have that much patience and time. So what I figured over the years, I just fill up my front loading machine and I put the sheets in there and I'm starting to wash them and I just stop the machine and I leave it, there, leave it there for 20 minutes and then I come back and I turn it back again and that will do the soaking part and um, they're going to be beautifully bright and I like to use the Charlie soap and recently I tried a new one um, I think it's called the Nelly soap and I like both of them they both work so great so well that I used to wash the diapers with them and I bought the diapers as used one off of Craigslist and they actually gotten whiter with each wash so it works so well so I'm very happy with those products and so far as what I find with research they are very safe to use with babies as well treating stains on your clothes so I find a few very effective way to treat stains. I didn't want to buy those stain removers that has harsh chemicals in there. So what I find one is uh, you have to treat the stains immediately. That helps tremendously, but obviously we are not in the situation where we can handle the stains right away. So what I like to do as soon as I can, I just soak them. If it's an oily grease, I just like to put this soap all over the spot and just let it sit there for a while and then just rinse it a little bit and put it in the washing machine. And for blood stains, oh my goodness guys, this works every single time like a charm. A few weeks ago, I fall with my scooter and I bruised my knee and my jeans got bloody and obviously at the park I couldn't treat it right away so it, we needed like a 45 minutes to get home and get on that but by the time I got home I was in so much pain I wasn't really even cared about the pants so I just let it there and I forgot about it and even after a few days when I realized that I have a bloody stain on my pants I 
use this method and it works like a charm i only use this on jeans and lighter colors i never tried on darker ones so i don't know if it's actually doesn't damage the color on it but jeans i do so well and beige khaki pants i put a little bit of a hydrogen peroxide on it and as you can see it's foaming up and it and it makes it disappear immediately even if it's not a fresh blood stain but it does remove and it works so well for white clothes and that get stains and i'm talking about mostly for kids related and diaper accidents um i used to wash those onesies and if it had still some spots on it and stains i just put it out while it was wet on the sun and the sun did the trick if you eat blueberry and dropped on your clothes you know how hard it is to take it out and once I read somewhere, if you put the stained uh, clothes under the sink and you just open the faucet full all the way and just trying to be as far as possible so the water can hit it hard, this spot, that will take it out. And when I tried, it worked. It was, <laughs> it only works, I think, if it's fresh. I always immediately try to treat the fruits because those are hard to take it out of the clothes. But when I tried with blueberry, it actually it worked really effective. So the next one would be the drying. Drying the clothes, especially in the area where I live, having a dry, dryer machine is a blessing because we have rain for six to seven months. And even if it's not raining, the humidity is so high that clothes would not get dry, it would get more wet in the air so i love my drying machine and i like to use two wall ball and there's two reasons for that one is to take away the statics but the other great way is to reduce your electricity bill because while your clothes spins in the drying machine it actually helps them to separate so the air is more effectively go through and actually dries the clothes and what i realized with those balls is that um, my sheets usually needs a lot of time to dry them because they are kind of tend to be tangled to each other but with this ball they didn't so i saved the next 25 minutes with the drying part with those balls So with the capsule wardrobe, just think about like the dirty dishes. When you have dirty dishes out and you just leave it there, all the dirt will just get dry on it and it's going to be super hard to wash. Now with the capsule wardrobe, because you wash them more frequently and they don't sit in the laundry basket that long, they are much easier to clean. I do laundry I would say maybe every second or third day it depends how dirty we get during the day obviously if there's a day when we are going out somewhere and we get mud on our clothes then I have more laundry but generally I would say every second day at least I just put um, one load of laundry in there or two and I never do more than two a day one we have a septic tank and that wouldn't be happy <laughs> To do more than two loads of a day but also I find that it's so much easier to deal with because I can get it done fast so that we are not procrastinating it when I I used to do the laundry once a week that was much harder on me that was a whole entire day project and the last part for doing the laundry I think this is what we dragging the most is putting it away and to me the solution was even though I don't mind folding I'm gonna be honest with you guys I love folding that was my job I used to be an organizer I love folding when you're doing it in a month when you get actually tired of it it's not fun anymore and this is happens when you have kids and they tend to do a lot of dirty clothes so what I did I implemented in our closet that um, I hanging those type of clothes like the shirts and all the tops so i only have to fold just the pants which is a lot less than to fold the shirt and 
what I realized in that process, so we've been doing this method for like a year. Now I hang all of our tops on hangers, except my husband one, husband's because he has way too many shirts to put it on hangers. And I also realized that they, go, they don't get that wrinkly and also I can prevent the mess in the closet because my kids, when they went through the shirts, even though they saw the little tiny area that which shirt was in there, they had to go and, and, and dig underneath where can they find their favorite one. It was always messing up the whole pile of folded clothes but that way they can just brush through the hangers so it definitely helps me on the other end that i don't have to fix their closet all the time and they get to see the shirt that they want to wear Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon in the next one. Thank you. Bye. Oh my gosh. I almost killed myself. When did it turn it off? Oh my god. Did it record? Oh my gosh. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> it 